This is the familiarization and takeoff procedure for the Felix Stowe F2A. Let's get started by looking at the instrument panel because there's quite a few different dials here. First up we have the pitch indicator. Then we have our slip indicator. We have a clock. We have a speedometer measured in miles per hour. We have our compass. We have an altimeter measured in thousands of feet. We have our tachometer with our max RPM of 2000. Then we have both oil pressure gauges for the engines. And we have the engine temperature gauges as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the controls of the aircraft. First we have our mixture controls. It's fully rich. And we'll bring it back to fully lean. And we have our radiator controls on both sides of the cockpit. And we also have throttle number one and throttle number two. Okay, we'll bring those back and we'll have a look at the extra crew positions. As always, by default we press control C to change our crew position. And here we're in the nose gunner position, so pick up the gun using T and holding down shift and T to nestle on the gun sight. Looking down in the nose turret, we can see duplicate instruments here. We have a compass, a speedometer, an altimeter, and the bomb sight on the right. So we'll change to the tail position, have a quick look around. We can see underneath us here is where the hatch gunner sits. And there's plenty of ammo available. So you press T, take out the weapon, and then we just move the mouse and have a look around. So let's have a look at the hatch position. Inside the hatch is pretty cramped. We have a little life raft on the right here. And then immediately on our left, we have the tail gunner standing right next to us. So again, pick up T, take up the weapon, and we can also press Shift C to switch the sides. So now the gunner's on the other side of the aircraft. Okay, so that's all the crew positions covered. We'll go back to the cockpit and get ready for takeoff. Now in the Felix though, you want to start both engines at once. Because you're on the water, if you only have one engine going, you'll end up turning on the spot. So by starting both engines at once, we avoid this. So we put mixture fully rich, and then we just press E to start. Okay, preparing for takeoff. We remember that we have to apply full power and we pull the stick all the way back. And then once the nose is high, we begin easing it forward towards the neutral position. Then we'll be entering the step, at which point we'll hold our attitude, and then the aircraft will lift off at 60 miles per hour. Alright, we're at full power, we're accelerating, pulling back on the stick to bring the nose out of the water. And as we're accelerating, we can start relaxing that back pressure. And once the stick is at the neutral position, we're about ready to be in the step. And we just hold this attitude and the aircraft will accelerate and take off on its own. Now one option for you after lifting off is to lower your nose. By doing so you'll take advantage of ground effect and accelerate faster to your top speed. This was the Famil and takeoff procedure for the Felix Doe F2A.